Hello, it's Donna, and I am working in EQ8 this morning, and this video is really just more for myself. Um, it's going to be a quick way of finding the information that I need when I get to the point of some quilts that I'm going to be making. Anyway, so this is just a play around quilt that I've been doing as if you stumble upon this you're gonna see ooh this doesn't match up and ooh she's really bad at EQ8 yes I am I'm learning but this is for me um, to help me with some projects anyway so this is a mock-up that of a quilt that I'm gonna be doing um, obviously it's not gonna be centered this way but who knows um, it's just playing with EQ8 right now. Anyway, I um, was wanting to uh, see if I can get some stuff out here. Do some things with um, embroidery. And I don't really truly know the size of the blocks yet. Um, I will be playing with this as I develop it going on. But um, anyway, what I wanted to actually do show is like if you go on layer three of your quilt and then hit um, embroidery tools these are ones I've actually had already pulled into this project um, I found it yesterday and I was playing around and I thought I would do this video so that I don't forget myself anyway I'm going to pull in some more uh, designs and what I'm going to do is say open library and here are some of the the ones that they have I mean you know cactus punch and uh, Foff and Viking you know that's that's great but sometimes I don't necessarily want to do them and I want to pick and choose or I want to use my own so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually hit the import button and I can import embroidery designs from other projects or from exp files I'm going to select from exp files and it's going to ask me what I want to do or where I'm going to do them from and what I'm going to do it's actually, um, I've got an EQ test here that I just threw some random uh, designs in that I want to Christmas design. So I'm just actually going to select all of them here and I'm going to do an open. And it's going to tell me that EXP does not contain thread information thread color information cool that's fine because I don't normally look at color charts anyway but these are my color charts and I know what they are and it's going to tell me ask me this for every single one probably should not have put so many in here anyway so now they should Oops, did I not do it? No. So let's do this again. Oh, man. We're going to try it again. Okay. This is just kind of getting them into where it knows about them. Okay, so here are all of the ones that I just did. I mean, some of the ones were the ones that were already there. Anyway, um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to select them all. Whoops. Okay, 
I did a control A to select all. I think somehow I had done something and it had uh, activated something on this screen capture. Anyway, so I'm going to select all of these that I just kind of imported, which the ones you see here. I'll do a select all embroidery and then I'm going to do add to sketchbook. And then I'm going to close. So now you will see that this has changed. Um, you can look over and see the ones that I just added. Um, so if I wanted to add an embroidery in here, I could just take this and then drop it. And this and drop it and this and drop it. Uh, I wonder if it shows the difference in the sizes. Yes, it does show the difference in the sizes. That's good. I was wondering about that. So, anyway, that's the largest size. I think that was a 8 by 12 or something. I don't know. Anyway, this is how you get your own embroidery designs into electric quilt. Now, if you normally save uh, all of your designs as PES format and everything, you're going to need something to export them to EXP. I wish that um, Electric Quilt read the different formats, but at least they read EXP. And um, this can give you a layout of how you're going to do your embroideries. So anyway, this was just a quick video for me to document for myself on how to get embroidery designs. Oh, and to save them in this project, make sure that you do the add to project sketchbook so that, let's do this again and verify that they're there. Open an existing project, say OK, and this is the one that we were playing. So there it is. Let's go to the layer three where the embroideries and there they are. They're all still there. So if I have to pick up my project later on, they're there. Anyway, that's it for today and we will talk to you later. Bye.